This is question 11. College Board is asking us to compare the means and standard deviations of two lists of numbers, lists A and B. And without a calculator, you can quickly see that the mean for list A is 3.5, and the mean for list B is also 3.5. The average of the first and last numbers, they add up to 7, so they average 3.5. Same for se second and second to last, and third and third to last for both lists. So they both have the mean of 3.5, which rules out choices C and D that say the mean is different. Standard deviation is a measure of how spread out numbers are in a list, and it takes into account all numbers in contrast to the range, which is only the smallest to the largest. And list A is more spread out than list B. List A goes from 1 through 6, list B is 2 through 5, so list A has a larger standard deviation. So sigma A is greater than sigma B. You don't have to calculate that. Means are the same, standard deviations are different because how spread out list A is is different from how spread out list B is. If you don't want to do it based on intuition, you can also ask your graphing calculator if you have one, although even without the graphing calculator, you should know standard deviation is a measure of how spread out numbers are because that's pretty much what College Board will frequently ask on the SAT. But on the graphing calculator, you can go stat edit in list 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In list 2, 2, 3, try that again. In list 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5. As long as your fat fingers don't slow you down, it can be pretty fast. My fingers hit the wrong keys there. Stat, calculate one variable statistics on each one, or just two variable statistics on list one and list two. It gives me the mean for list one is 3.5. Standard deviation is 1.7. And you can use either sigma or s for standard deviation on any college board SAT question. If you're in AP Stat, you should know which one to use. In this case, it won't ever matter. Sigma Y is 0.95. And as I predicted from the numbers being more spread out, list A has a larger standard deviation. The important thing for asking this question is it's different, so that would be choice A. Make sure you review mean, median, and standard deviation and box plots because College Board is likely to test all four of them on your SAT and come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.